Hi, my name is Michi DeWitt. Um, I am a senior software developer in San Diego. I also do some community tech organizing here and I am one of the NG champions, so I blog with the NG comp team. Um, but you're not here to talk about me, let's talk about Prettier. Um, today I'm gonna go over three things. First is why you should use a style guide on your team. Second is why you should use an auto formatter. And third is why Prettier is the tool that you can use for all of that. And we're gonna do it all in five minutes. So let's dive in. Um, first, what's a style guide? Uh, a style guide is just a set of rules and coding standards that you follow in your code base. You use it so that all of your files are gonna be formatted the same. So every TypeScript file is gonna be formatted um, exactly the same as all other files in your project, same with your HTML. This is really important for teams to have, especially larger enterprise teams, because having uh, files that are formatted consistently reduces the mental overhead for developers. So it's easier for them to read your files, easier for them to add more features. Um, so it's, just, it's a really good um, tool to use. Um, so the first thing you have to do is agree on a style guide. Um, and this can be probably the most difficult part because a style guide at the end of the day is just a set of opinions that your entire team has agreed are correct. And we all know that developers are very opinionated, um, especially when it comes to style guides. I don't know why we're like this, but we are. Um, but let's pretend you've, you've chosen, you've agreed on the style guide. Now you need to implement it. So the, if you already have a code base, you're gonna have to go through every single one of your files, um, update the formatting so it matches your new formatting for your style guide. You have to remember your rules as you're writing new code. When you onboard new people, you have to teach them the, the style guide rules. So there's some extra um, friction in onboarding. And a lot of times style guides are enforced through code reviews. So you'll have a code review, a lot of comments in there will be like, oh, move this bracket to the same line or indent this with four spaces, whatever your style guide rules are. This can be a little off-putting and it's a lot of work. So there's a better way. Use an auto formatter. An auto formatter is just a tool that allows you to auto format your code based on all of your style guide rules. Uh, so you, you configure it uh, with every single rule your team has agreed on, and then your code will just like automatically be formatted in um, based on whatever those style guide rules are. Um, it's best to have your formatter run at consistent periods. So I personally like to have my code format on save. It also means that I don't have to think about my code. I can write slightly sloppy code. I save and then everything's pretty and nice. Um, I've also configured it so our auto formatter runs whenever uh, on our pre git pre-commit hook. Um, this means that any code that makes it into our repo is going to be formatted uh, according to our style guide. This is great because now our code reviews, we don't have to focus on formatting, we can just focus on logic and focus on the new features, which is what code reviews are really for at the end of the day. Um, and now your team doesn't have to think about code conventions. When you onboard new people, they don't have to know what the rules are because you just have a formatter that does it all for you. But you still need to decide on that style guide. Um, and as we mentioned before, developers have strong opinions and they'll have differences of opinions. Um, I feel like most of the time what's gonna happen is your team is gonna agree on like 80 to 90% of the rules. There's gonna be a couple rules that the team just can't agree on. That, you know, there'll be a couple people that have really strong opinions on how it should be. Um, and then you get stuck or you get a lot of meetings or you'll agree and then a couple months later you come back and you, you hash it out again. So there's a better way. Use Prettier. So what is Prettier? Um, it's an incredibly opinionated code form formatter. You, you and your team will get to configure a couple of, of conventions, like really a small handful, but for the most part, Prettier is gonna choose everything for you. So it's really that style guide and that auto formatter all in one tool together. And it's really easy to use and it integrates with most popular editors. So I use VS Code, there's a Prettier uh, extension. So I just set my formatter in VS Code to be Prettier and it formats all my code for me. There's a nice tool that you can run so it will format all of your files. So if you have a big code base, you don't have to go through and format each individual one. You just run Prettier, it's gonna format everything, you check it in and now you're good to go. Um, now there's no more fights, there's no more um, arguments about what the best convention is to use because you just trust, trust Prettier to make those decisions um, and, then, and then you move forward. So let's summarize. Everyone should use a style guide. It's gonna keep your code formatted um, and clean and consistent. You should, use an, you should always use an auto formatter to enforce your style guide. Otherwise, your style guide probably just isn't going to be used. And at the end of the day, you should really just use Prettier because it's a really easy tool to use. You're not gonna have to argue about um, uh, code style and um, it's, just, it's just nice and easy. Um, so that's all I have. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mamichi. Um, I also, all my blog posts are on Medium um, and also in the ng blog. Mm -hmm.